Urbanization has been one of the critical factors that have led to rising cost of living in the country. Despite statistics rolled out by government agencies to suggest improving economic conditions, many Nigerians are struggling to cope. Chairman Dabeng reports. Citizens have migrated to big cities in search of greener pastures or as an escape from insecurity. But they are confronted by astronomical costs of feeding, transportation and rent, which they cannot afford. Federal capital territory. I think things are going higher, like right now. We know the way things are going in Nigeria right now, so we are not ignorant of that fact. But living, cost of living in Abuja is quite high, except you are on the very high side of income. It's going to be a little more cumbersome for a common man. Look at how much is being to pay to a worker as a civil servant compared with what, what is buy, what is we buy in the market. You cannot, uh, you cannot. It's nothing to write home about. That's what I'm saying. Imagine it, somebody that has been paid uh, 70000 a month, talk about transportation, take up about accommodation, take about the food you buy. You see, there is nothing to write them about, so to speak. So government should do something about, about it so that uh, things will be well and all go well with the, the people. At least we're trying from hand to mouth because I've not really saved since I moved into Abuja. Just trying to stock my stomach first before any other thing. Everything should go back to normal, where, how we used to be before, on, uh, on low prices. Because things are really high and it keeps getting high every day. The high price of commodities, rent, coupled with low wages and unemployment, have made things much more difficult for families. Actually, it's not easy, especially as a widow. In a widowhood where I am right now, it's not easy for me, but I'm trying my best. The little I got, we eat it like that. We manage ourselves and I tell my children that you don't need to be taking tea or bread, whatever we see, rice, anything. We manage it like that. I cannot kill myself. I've tried. So, but that is just what I have to say. The country, which they should just look at what the masses are crying for so that the crime will still reduce. As more people move to big cities, what will the effects be? Economist Dr. Emeka Okengo speaks on the matter and also speaks on the issue of high cost of rent. What are the consequences? Okay, overstressed infrastructure, of course, you know. All right, the infrastructure is stressed to its to its breaking points. All right, and again, the flip side of overstressed infrastructure is that those who are not able to give social services now begin to now also look at demand, okay, as a primary consideration in fixing prices. So what you now have is a mess. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. It does not make any sense that in a country that has just come out of recession, come out of COVID, you know, people are telling you to pay millions and billions to live in a, in a house that is not maintained, that has nothing. It just does not make sense. Nigerians are calling out to the government to provide some succor to their difficult situations. Chamun Dabeng, Trust TV News, Abuja.